Yeah. yeah. Especially made for uh, Yes, actually, this place is so beautiful that visions come here and yeah. they just uh, fly freely. And they're just... Uh, they don't exist in anywhere, just in only in this place. So now we go to Fort Kohna? No, I know. Okay, I know. so know. We'll, know. we'll go to the fort. And in the gate of the fort, I will just walk around to the fort because inside the fort, there is everything. There is a tomb of uh, Shah Rukn Alam, Damdama, uh, and Bahauddin Zakaria. And this is the places I want to see. And after I cover this area, yeah. there is only one place after that. Then I'll go to get my ticket from from the train station. Training? Go to create the train station to get my ticket, buy ticket. Today? I will take it today because today after tomorrow I will leave. Oh no, you can buy a ticket uh, tomorrow. I don't want to call you again tomorrow. So we finish everything today and tomorrow I don't have to go out, stay in the hotel. And you don't have to... You will stay three nights in. I already spent one night. This is the second night. And tomorrow, yeah. one night, tomorrow and, and the day after tomorrow morning, I will leave. I, I, mean, uh, Yesterday, one night. Today, second night. And tomorrow? And tomorrow is my last day. Last day? No night? There is a night tomorrow. I stay after, at night. After stay night, tomorrow night, you uh, will to go other... Yeah, yeah, I will take my, my train and go to, and go to uh, Karachi. Okay, okay. You want to buy a ticket for if I, Karachi? For Karachi, yes. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. So we are leaving right now. Shah Yusuf Gardez. That is all city you can see? Yeah, this is all city. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's so nice here. So now we are going to Fort Kohna and inside the fort. There is market, please. You walk and enjoy. Uh, which market? Uh, please continue. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm here. Oh. Come on. Okay. Okay. He told me Salaam Alaikum by Jam, but I couldn't hear him well. Then I had to say Alaikum Salaam. Once we go to Fort Kona, I will tell you why Shah Rukhluddin Alam is so important here and why Bahauddin Zakaria is also so important here. Meanwhile, just enjoy the view of the city. Hmm, this is the old city. Approaching the fort now. Uh, yeah, the fort now. Yeah. Black tower. Hmm? Black tower. The no, it's okay, but I can walk. It's okay if I walk. I will walk till okay. the fort. Okay. This is the market here, and I will just walk from there. Actually, I can see everything. Like this is the most important place here because. This is basically the center and around the center 
they're like everything else so next to it actually this is the fort the fort is over there if you can see let me show you let's have a clear view This is the fort over there, and as you can see, this is the tomb of Shah Rukh Alam. But next to it, there is also this place. This is the clock tower, and uh, and the clock tower actually was built like an administration building here. It was built by the British actually. It was built by the British. It was like the administration. Uh, they built it like to administrate the place here. But now the clock tower, it uh, was changed and now it's like a museum. Now this is the, the museum of Multan. But once you, once you come here, you can just enjoy the view of the tower, the historic building, the old design. So this is a place to see. I'm so glad that we came here. And now we will close the route to the gate of Fort Kona. the fort now okay. no no so yeah we can can I walk from here okay I'll just go inside and have my and I have my tool. Okay. So this is the gate over here. This is the old fort of Multan. Do you remember? Every city had a wall and every wall had gates and inside, sometimes inside the city, sometimes outside it, there was a fort to protect it. So they say if the city never falls until the fort falls first. So even if there was a siege around the city, this is not like a big problem. The most important thing is to take over the fort itself and this is like this is the new gate representing the gate of the fort of uh, of multan or the fort Kota of multan then we're going inside to visit uh bahauddin zakaria to visit the tomb of bahauddin zakaria and then but before this we will see the tomb of Shah Rukhnuddin Alam. It's not really clear. Wait. Let me show you. This over there, this is the symbol of Multan, the tomb of Shah Rukhnuddin Alam. I'm just looking for the entrance now to enter inside it. Can you see how beautiful it is? So here is the story. Uh, Bahauddin Zakaria, he was like he was a Sufi uh, from the order of uh, called Sahrawardiya. The order Sahrawardiya, the Sufis order of Sahrawardiya, it basically came from Baghdad. But he was the one who transferred this Sufi order from Baghdad to the city of Multan. That's why he is so important. We're speaking now about Bahauddin Zakaria. After that, what happened, his great-grandson, uh, Ruknuddin Alam, actually Rukn Alam, it means the barrel, the barrel of the world. So Ruknuddin Alam kept his work after that, and he was the one who spread, uh, he, he managed, like, he contributed in the spreading of the Islam. Thank you. Okay. Can you see? Darbar Aliya, Zain Al Arifin, Siraj Al Salikin, Qutb Al Aqtab, Abu Al Fatah Hadrat, Shah Rukhnuddin Alam. 
there is something very important in, in Urdu language, the word Darbar. The word Darbar means like a court or uh, the court of... So this is like the court of... Yeah, Shah Rukh Din Alam. Yeah, Shah Rukh Din Alam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This way? Okay. No. So right now we are going inside the tomb of Shah Rukh Din Alam. So, I have to remove my shoes here. It's okay. Thank you. Once you enter inside, you have to remove your shoes. And let me show you this wonderful view. This over here, this is the tomb of Shah Ruknuddin Alam. And his name, like, this is just Shah Rukn Alam or Rukn Alam. Can you see, we will just have a tour around his darbar. I just want to show you this from the all sides, since we're here. Can you see the design? The design. These designs are not Mughal designs. They are much more like Uzbek design. Like the tombs in like in Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. They are they are like that. Okay. We're just touring around it. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see the beauty? Can you see this blue color, the, the, the blue lines? The blue line is like, uh, the blue is meant like, it's not like actually it's blue, something more to the Neely color and it used to, they used to believe that this color bring a very very positive energy that's why you can see this neely line over there so many people come to this stone over here and they just hmm do you know why he is touching his head yes on why the wall? yes why he is rubbing people have faith that uh, to touch their head of that place mm -hmm. some people's hair fell down mm -hmm. from touch their head of that place mm -hmm. work hair come Zik. hair grows mm -hmm. better okay so when they just drop your head yeah, they around their hairs mm -hmm. so this is a new information here there is like a place here where you can like people come here and start rubbing their head like that and they believe that once you get here and you rub your head like that you will start feeling better so we will go inside from from the other side right now we are going inside the tomb itself Can go from here. That is the way to go on roof. To roof. Is it uh, is it allowed? That is not allowed. Okay, so there is a way here to take you to the roof, but this way is not allowed. Because there you can see what I'm looking. You can see the view. Okay. Here, can you see? But it's only for workers because there's like some constructions over there. But we will go to to the tomb itself. Mm -hmm. Just excuse me. 
ਕਹਿੰਦੇ this is the tomb over there of Shah Rukn Alam and this is the tombs of his family member right maybe relatives or family members hmm. So we will come here to the tomb of Shah Rukn Alam for blessings. So we will just basically come here and do many prayers and they ask for blessings from Shah Rukni Din Alam and they believe that whatever you will wish for it will be accepted can you see like all the colors the design can you see this is how it looks like from from over there beautiful and so spiritual place this place is just so spiritual and you can feel the echo once you speak in a very loud way once you speak in a very loud way your voice will be everywhere because of the corners because of the design there is a guy here this one keeps shouting around why is shouting? So, we are leaving now. But there is something I would like to show. I'll just, I'll just have a look over the gate. There is like the Qibla way. You can see the river. Can you see? There's a calligraphy. Can you see the design? This is all. Arabic calligraphy and you can see the star oh, this is ah, yes this is Wood. woodwork and you can see the star of David over there the star of David is believed to bring lots and lots of energy can you see some woodwork here so right now we are leaving this place it's like full of energy really and uh, you really can feel it once you get inside so i highly recommend you like if you will ever visit multan to visit this place and you will really enjoy it Okay, that's where we will offer their like ask for blessings here. And you can see that like birds are like almost everywhere here. So this was like the tomb of Shah Rukh Alam. I'll just take some pictures from inside and then anyway. Inside? No, 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 from from uh, from in front, in front of this place. Yeah. I just want to get a good view of the tomb. Can you see the tomb? I just love this view. I just want to take a video where I can get all this view behind me together. 
as you can see and this my friend was the tomb of Shah Ruknuddin Alam this was like a tour inside it I think you should visit it and now we will move right now to our next destination inside Fort Kohnas so see you soon